Hey, so you probably clicked this video because you saw the title and you were interested in watching a 48 hour time lapse of me taking the certified cyber defender. Well, as you just saw, I was setting up my 48 hour timer over there, but that's not exactly where I'll be taking the exam. I'm gonna be taking the exam over here, actually. So this is where we're taking the exam from. I'll be taking it from my PC just because I can. So yeah, I don't really have anything good or major for this intro. So let's just get right into the time lapse. Hey, real quick, before you get back into the video, the Cyber Defenders team was kind enough to offer a 10% discount on the certified Cyber Defender for the very first 10 people that use the link in the description and this code on the screen. A huge thank you to the Cyber Defenders team for sponsoring this video and offering you, my subscribers, this discount. Now let's get back into the video. All right, so I am eight hours in and I'm pretty exhausted. I'm still in the very first section for threat hunting. I think I kind of have an understanding of what is going on. I just need to put the pieces together, but right now I'm pretty exhausted. So I am just going to chill, get some food, maybe watch some TV and then come back into it. But we'll see. I'll see you when I get back. All right, so I just woke up from a six hour nap, if you couldn't tell. And yeesh, that nap hit. But I'm gonna hop back into the exam now. I think I'm well rested enough. One thing I didn't want to do for this exam is just like bang my head through it. I figured I, I pretty much have an understanding of what I'm doing. So I should be able to sort of figure things out and make headways as I go through the exam. So I'm not gonna just like spend, I don't know, 48 hours straight just go to the exam. I'm going to get some things done, you know, rest or hang out, go do other stuff and then come back to it later. But now I'm gonna go work on it. I have about two to three hours to dedicate to it before I go out uh, to hang out with my dad. And then that's gonna be like another three, four hour break. And then I'll come back and work on it tonight. But yeah, I'm gonna get back into it. Now I have about 35 hours left, so. We'll see if that's gonna be sufficient, but let me get back into it. One eternity later. So this is why it's important to take breaks. And this is why I decided to take breaks because I realized that I'm not gonna do myself any good if I try to keep banging my head against the wall if I run into a roadblock. So I am just about 10 minutes in to my second phase of the exam. And literally what I was banging my head against the wall last night trying to figure out, I was immediately able to figure it out in about 10 minutes. I was actually gonna give up with that question as well. Like, hey, this is my approach to it and I don't really find anything. But now I was able to immediately just like figure out, oh, if this is what I need to find, then this is how I need to look for it. So sometimes you need to actually just take a break and just like rest your head. Like banging your head against the wall is not gonna get you anywhere. So now that I figured that out, I think I can make some more headway on the rest of the exam. So I'm gonna get back into it. What is up guys? I am back and yeah, it's been a while. So it's been a whole day that has gone by and I literally just finished the very first section of the course. Well, this is because I took my time with it. I don't really feel rushed. I slept overnight. I went out, hung out with my dad, came back home, had lunch, dinner. But I was able to finish the first section. It was it was very challenging and took, took a lot of mental effort, but uh, it was fun nonetheless. So the first section is done. I still have about five more sections, I believe, for the rest of the domains, but I'm just gonna go grab dinner right now, eat, and then get back into it. I am fairly confident that the rest of the sections would be easy to go through. I mean, I'm not sure what it would look like, but uh, we'll see what happens. But right now, I have just about 25 hours left, and I and I plan to use the remaining 25 hours to the best of my ability to finish the exam. So I'm really tired right now, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's pretty mentally challenging, so we'll see what happens next. All right, I'll see you guys. Well, the worst thing that could possibly happen happened. My internet went out. <laughs> That's funny. It's funny that the timer is still going in the background, probably because YouTube cached the uh, the video session. But yeah, my internet went out, so yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to just wait 22 hours to go. <laughs> it is 5.01 a.m. 
I have about 17 hours to go. I'm tired and I'm almost done. I'm in the very last section. Just have a couple of questions to answer, but yeah, I am just completely mentally fatigued, but I want to finish it today. So I'm going to finish it over the next couple of hours. It's going to be a really slow day for me because I haven't slept since yesterday. And I have a conference this morning, the Sans Cloud Sec Next conference. So yeah, I'm just going to go straight from this to that and I'll probably just sleep when I get back from the conference. But I'll also be vlogging the Sans conference, so definitely keep an eye out for that on the channel. But yeah, I'm gonna just chill a little bit and then finish up this exam and submit it. But yeah, I'll see you guys. I just realized that my camera has been in a very <laughs> close angle this whole time, but I just submitted my exam and I had a couple of hours to spare, more like about 17 more hours to spare, but I feel generally confident about what I've done so far. It was definitely challenging, definitely challenging. Uh, I wouldn't underestimate it, but it was a good experience. I think the beautiful thing about exams like this and courses like this is you come out with a lot of knowledge. And I'll be going over that in another video, but it's always a rewarding experience when you actually spend time learning and you know, you are actually digging deep to validate your learning. Now, I don't know how well I did in the exam. I don't know if I did really well or I totally flunked it, but I think in about 10 days, I should know what the results are. and. Hopefully I pass. I would say um, this attempt was definitely a brilliant attempt, but nonetheless, great experience. Definitely, definitely. I can confidently say this is definitely the most intense blue team training I've taken in a while. So shout out to the Cyber Defenders team for the amount of effort they put into the course as well as the exam itself. But yeah, I'll see you guys in about 10 days when I eventually get the result. If you've made it this far to the video, then excited to let you know that I passed the exam. Just a little under 10 days after taking the exam, I got the results that I passed and definitely feels good. I do not know what I would do if I had to take that exam over again. I didn't make the threshold for a gold coin, but I got just enough points um, to pass the exam. I would say that everything within the course and the labs is sufficient for the exam so definitely make sure you go through the material but yeah it's definitely difficult it's not a walk in the park you definitely have to put a lot of effort into it and i would say if you have the time definitely do extra practice i didn't have the time for extra practice or extra labs uh, i just went straight to the exam i wish i did have the time and i did do some extra practice stuff but i just didn't i was in a time crunch but i'm glad i made it through the exam and i passed the exam it feels really great because it was a very it was a very difficult exam but i'm glad i'm glad i made it through um a very huge kudos to the cyber defenders team for the work they've done on on this uh, course and exam and uh, i'll be doing a full course and exam review video in the coming weeks so definitely keep an eye out for that that'll be where i'll be talking about everything you should know um in regards to the course as well as you know probably things you should know for the exam without breaching the confidentiality of, of the exam but yeah thanks to everyone for watching the video and yeah keep an eye out for the next video on this series for this particular exam and yeah i'll see you in the next video Bye bye